What is good, everybody? It's your girl, Charlene Effect. Back with another day in the life video. I know it has been a while since I have dropped one for y'all, but I'm here with another one for y'all. So, real quick, um, I'm gonna talk about a DM that I got. Uh, why is my garage tripping right now? I'm gonna talk about a DM that I got not too long ago um, from this gentleman. Uh, you probably should see it right here, right here on the screen. Uh, pause the video to read it a little bit. But that is what we're gonna be talking about in this video here today. Let me lower the AC, even though it is hot as hell outside today. I'm going to lower this a little bit so that y'all can hear me. All right. in my loaner while my car my lambo gets uh gets service i gotta go pick it up on thursday which is in a few days um so yeah i'm gonna talk about that dm that i got today one nah i got it the other day i didn't get it today i got it uh, a couple days ago from a gentleman who is a little bit uh concerned or would like some information on um, leaving his job as a firefighter and um, going full time. Give me one. All right. So yeah, um, I'm going to give my response to that answer. I'm, I decided to make a whole video out of it because I think it's something that everybody needs to know, needs to understand about going full time as a trader. Because at the end of the day, you are not going full time as a trader. You're going you should be going full-time as an entrepreneur so i'm going to go into um my response my full full response that was kind of a snippet of you know the whole thing and, and what i explained to him via dm um i'm going to go into all of it uh right after i leave the gym i am headed to the gym now to get a quick workout in um and then uh after i get a quick pump i will come back and uh, give you guys my response so i'll see you guys after the workout
Okay, so workout complete, post-workout meal complete. Um, let's get back to uh, this video. Uh, so in answering the question, I'll post the uh, question in the DM again uh, for you all to uh, read while I'm going into it. Now, this particular individual, like I said earlier, is um, considering leaving his job to trade um, full time which is great that means that he has some level of consistency profitability all that good stuff the only i would say downside to that is the fact that i don't recommend and we don't as you know traders those of us that have been blessed enough to um take on trading full time uh, we don't talk about it enough how we're not just trading full time by itself you know just trading um, I, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it, guys, because trading is too risky. Um, it's too high risk of a trade um, to have and to just rely on that because you're, trading is like a roller coaster. You know, you're going to go through ups, you're going to go through downs, you know, you're going to go through slumps, losing streaks, win streaks, all of that. You're going to have things that happen in your personal life that's that, that may affect you on the charts. And if you if you're only... You know just relying solely on that alone it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough guys um i always recommend that people have multiple 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 streams of income before they take on trading full-time because like i said earlier the goal is not to be a full-time trader the goal is to be a full-time entrepreneur a full-time business owner you know, independent, self-employed, you know, the goal is to have multiple streams of income coming in from several different avenues, you know, two or three even, I wouldn't even say that's enough. I mean, it could be depending on what it is you're doing, but I recommend having at least four to six or more, if you can, four streams minimum and have nothing to do with trading. I'm not talking about you know, oh, um, I got this prop, I got that prop account, I got this prop account, I got this and that over here. No, I'm talking about I got an Amazon store. I'm talking about I have, you know, a, a cleaning company. I'm talking about I do taxes on the side. I'm talking about I have, you know, I do consulting or, or tutoring or anything that doesn't have to do with trading. That can bring you in, you know, a steady uh, flow of consistent income so that during the times where either your trading hits a slump or something else you know one of your other businesses hits a slump you can still maintain you can still keep your head you know above water and you don't have to deal uh, with the stress and the anxiety of just focusing on trading by itself all right so guys if you're thinking about leaving if you feel like you're consistent you know you have your prop accounts that's great um, but Prop companies, guys, are great. They're an excellent resource for those of you that don't have the funds to um, to get, you know, jumpstart your trading. But at the same time, they're very risky, you know, because they go down. They come out with, um, you know, new rules that cause you to fail. Um, you know, the odds are kind of stacked up against you and you have to pretty much, you know, find your own way and hope that, you know, you don't violate anything and you get to keep your account and you and you actually get your payout. So, um, have a live account, guys. Trade live, trade live, trade live. My broker, Henkel Trade, is a live broker. I've been with them for four, going on five years now, I think. And it, 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 there's nothing wrong, guys, with trading live. There's nothing wrong with it. If you have money for a prop account, you have money to trade live. Let me tell you, okay? I just requested a withdrawal today. I'll post it right here for you guys to see also. Um, that's not a regular thing. It is for me now, but in the beginning it wasn't like that it wasn't like oh i'm regularly getting money i'm regularly winning i'm regularly whatever first of all most traders have i think between what is it like a i want to say a high 50s to low low um 60 percent win rate i don't know too many traders that have a 70 and above percent win rate because it's very hard to win that much when you're trading um, and that's why I scalp because, you know, you win a lot more when you spend less time in the markets than you do holding moves. So, I mean, that just 
what works for me. It may not work for everybody, but that's just what works for me. So a part of trading full time is knowing who you are as a trader, understanding that you have a system and a plan and a routine that works for you that has gotten you to the point of being consistent. And you have to have the discipline to stick with it. You can have a plan all you want, but if you never stick to it, you're not gonna have that consistency that you need to continue and to go full time. So those of you that are thinking that, oh, all traders, all of us are leaving our jobs, we're doing this, we're doing that, and we're doing going full time, and all we have is trading, it's not true, guys. All of us, every single trader out there, every single business owner out there, majority of us have multiple streams of income. You have to, you have to, you have to. OK, don't think that, you know, once you have, you know, a big day in the markets or you have, you know, a nice little win streak, that that's the end of it. it you, every day is a new day, guys. At the end of the day, the day has to end. Right. A new day begins. So that setup that you want, you got to catch it again. That big day you had, you got to try to get it again. That win you had, you got to try to get it again. That loss you had, you got to try to correct it so you can turn that loss into a win. You know what I mean? So. Don't fall for the okie doke guys. Don't think that, you know, just because all we show is, is our trading, um, you know, trading income and trading businesses doesn't mean that that's the only business that, that we have and that's out there. Um, I can't speak for everybody, obviously, but um, the majority of entrepreneurs that I know, and I know a lot of them, none of them only have one means of income. If the pandemic didn't show you guys that one stream of income is not uh, a sense of security anymore, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take to wake you guys up. OK, you can't just focus just on trading, take your trading income, invest it, invest in other things, look into other businesses, other less risky businesses, businesses that can bring you, you know, sustainable income um, with a lot less stress that comes attached to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, a big tip, which is also what I put inside the, the, the DM is plan to live now how you plan to live in the future. So basically, if you're looking to leave your job, right? and become a full-time trader, great. But if you're planning on leaving a job, that means what? That means you're not gonna have your job income anymore. That paycheck, that sense of security that you have with that is gonna be gone. So you don't have that feeling of it yet because you're still working your job, but you need to live and walk and breathe as if you don't have it anymore. You know, one year before I left my police job, guys, I took my um, paycheck that I got from my job and I let it get deposited into a completely separate account. I never touched it. I acted like I didn't even have it anymore. I lived my life strictly based on my businesses and the income that I was making from those businesses. I acted like I didn't even have it anymore because soon I wasn't going to have it anymore. So you have to live as if. You have to walk as if. You have to see yourself B, see yourself where you want to be and start living, walking, breathing, eating, sleeping like that lifestyle that you want to have because pretty soon you will have it. If you want it bad enough and, and you're determined, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. If you wake up every day thinking, man, I want to leave my job, I want to leave my job, I guarantee you one day you're going to be like, yo, I'm out and just leave because it's gonna get so unbearable. You're gonna be like, I can't take it anymore. I'm sick and tired, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm unhappy, I'm stressed, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. So you get to a point where the thing that you really want and you can't stop thinking about is going to manifest itself in your life. So you have to find a way to be prepared for it. You can't ask for something, guys, and not be ready for it. If you wanna leave your job and trade full-time, you better be ready for what you're asking for because it comes with a lot of responsibility especially if you're the breadwinner in your household. You get me? I'm not saying it wasn't easy for me. I mean, it wasn't uh, hard for me because, you know, I'm saying I'm, I'm okay. I don't have any kids, <laughs> but um, my thing is you're going to, it, 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 it doesn't matter what your situation is. It don't matter what your situation is. You're going to have that little bit of fear. You're going to have that little bit of anxiety. Man, what did I just do? Because I had that, guys. I stayed in my job two years longer than I should have for personal reasons. But when I left, yeah, I was excited. I was happy. But at the same time, I had those feelings like, man, am I making the right decision? You know, this, you know, I had family and friends in my ear. Hey, are you sure you want to do this, this and that, whatever? And I'm like, I had to think about my job and think about what it is I wanted and say, is this job right for me? Is it holding me back? Is it what I really want to do? Is it making me happy? You know, 
you have to ask yourself all these things. You got to go through a process of elimination. You can't just wake up one day and say, I hate my job. I want to leave and just leave, especially if you have responsibilities, because nowadays it's very hard to get a job. Well, a good job. Right. Um, even the, the sought after jobs are, are hard to get. So you really, really have to think about it. It's not an easy decision, but you got to step out on faith. You got to step out on faith. If you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're working your butt off, you're making money, you're actually putting money away, you're saving, you're stacking your chips and you're, and you're investing in other things and you have other, you know, other safety nets, do your thing. No fear. Jump in with both feet. But have an insurance policy. That insurance policy is saving up. Save up for at least, minimum, at least one year of all your bills. Add up all your expenses, your rent, mortgage, car note, car insurance, food, light, electric, water, phone, everything. Add up all your bills, times it by two, and then save up a year's worth of that. Because that first, I want to say, how did it go for me? If I remember correctly, I want to say that first, it didn't hit me until like the first few months. The first few months of like, because when you go your whole life, guys, where, well, not really my whole life because I've owned other businesses before, but when you go the majority of your life working for someone else, getting up with an alarm clock, having to be somewhere, having to take orders, you know, wearing a uniform a lot of the time, um, relying on that paycheck, you know, it, it, you, it, it becomes a part of you. It becomes a part of you. And it's, everybody lives their life. Most, most of the population lives like that. Most of the world lives like that. So it's hard to break yourself out of that mold and, and say to yourself, man, you know, I have money. I have money put away. I have money, I can pay my bills, I can eat, I can sleep, I got a roof over my head, I'm blessed, I'm healthy. And I have the freedom to do whatever it is I want. If I wanna invest in something else, I can. If I wanna go make extra money, give myself a raise, I could do that on the charts. If I wanna put money in other things, I can. I have my entire day to do whatever I want. Two, three o'clock in the afternoon, I could just get up and go to the gym after being in bed all morning, trading on my laptop in bed. So see yourself where you want to be and start living like that, imagining yourself like that. Also, guys, I'm super big. I've said this in a lot of my day in the life videos. Um, write things down. Write down your goals and put a date on it. Put a deadline on, on, uh, on those goals. If you're saying to yourself, I'm going to leave my job on this, you know, I'm going to leave my job. Okay, great. But that's too general. I'm going to leave my job on this day this month this day i'm gonna leave my job after this or i'm gonna leave my job when i accomplish this you know um have goals for yourself because what it, what that does is first of all it takes it from a thought and it makes it into a physical thing right because now it's written down you can look at it you can touch it you can feel it it's right here in front of you and um damn i lost my train of thought it's 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 uh it lights a fire under you right it it it, it kind of it's like a, a a meeting you have to make or an appointment you can't miss, you know? Because if you put a date on an important goal that you want to achieve, the closer you get to that date, the harder it's going to be because you're going to be like, damn, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? You know, take it seriously. Don't just write a, a random date and whatever. Then you don't really want it bad enough if you're just playing around with it. But if you say in three months or six months or on this day or on, on this anniversary whatever that that date means to you write it down and stick to it and work every day every day every day chip away chip away chip away at that goal so that you know eventually you'll accomplish it if if you want it bad enough if you want it bad enough you know what i'm saying so guys um I'm very happy for this guy. Uh, we we met, messaged each other back and forth a couple of times. Um, I, I try to get to as many DMs as I can. I try to give the best advice I can in them. Um, but I would never recommend somebody leave their job, um, especially a job like that, a firefighter. Those jobs are hard to get. They're well-paying jobs. I'm not going to tell this person, yeah, okay, you're profitable. You got this prop account. Great. Go ahead and quit tomorrow. No, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. 
Um, you stack up your trips. You make sure you have a plan. You save up. So when you actually do leave your job or whatever your situation is, there's no fear. There's no regrets. There's no anxiety. There's no, oh my God, what did I do? There's no, oh, you know, stressing out. There's none of that. You're simply comfortable with your decision. You're ready for it. You planned for it mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You are where you want to be. And you're like, hey, this is my choice. This is my decision. I have to live with it. I got to make my own way now because you won't have that security blanket anymore. Every dollar is going to count. You're going to be in a different tax bracket. You're, this is the life you asked for. Be ready for what comes with that life. It's not all every day, get up and do what you want to do. You better get your ass up and make money. You better get to, get to hustling. Make sure you are ready for what you're asking for, period. Because if you're not, you're going to put yourself in hot water. You're going to, you're going to lose faith, right? You're going to start doubting yourself. Why? Because you didn't prepare properly. You didn't mentally prepare. You didn't physically prepare. It's a whole different life, guys. It's great, but there's a flip side to it, too. You got to hustle. There's no more pension. There's no more insurance. There's no more every two weeks. I don't have to worry about this and that because I know my direct deposit is going to hit. All that's out the window. It's all on you now. It's on your back. Be prepared for it. Don't fear it because it's not impossible. It's not impossible. It can be done. There's plenty of ways to make money out here. Plenty of ways to make money if you really want it. You got the employees and you got the bosses. When you leave, you become a boss. When, you, when you're working at your job, you are an employee. That's what you are. You're, you're a worker bee. You're a worker rat. Once you leave and you take your life in your own hands, you are officially a boss. Act like it. Walk like it. Talk like it. Because that's what it is now. Nobody can tell you anything. You a boss. You do your own shit. It's a different life. Act like it. Walk like it. Think like it. See yourself already where you want to be. Period. Those people who did not respect for you, those people who, who talked down on you, those people who, who doubted you and all that, out the window. Out the window now. Because guess what? They still got to get up and go to work every day. You get up whenever you want, kick your feet up and do what you want. Because why? You prepared for this life. You were built for this life. It ain't built for everybody. But if you really want it, you were built for it. So those of you that want to leave your jobs, that want to go full time, that want to do your thing, I commend you. It's an excellent, excellent goal to have. But make sure you have a plan B. Make sure you prepare yourself and listen to this video. Rewatch this video. Take down these tips. Look at the advice I gave him in the DMs. Like, listen to all these things, guys. I'm giving it to y'all raw. I'm giving it to y'all real. This is what it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say, oh, once you leave, you're going to go get a Lambo. You're going to be traveling. You're going to be lit. You're going to be doing big six-figure six days. No, 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 no. It's a different life. After you leave your job, guys, that first trade that you take after you leave your job hits different. It hits different. And if it's a loss, it hits real different. Let me tell you. But you have more time freedom. With more time freedom, guys, comes a lot, a lot of possibilities. Opportunities just come your way. They just open up doors, new doors for you. Trust and believe. Have no fear. Walk by faith, not by sight. If this life was built for you and you really want it, you can have it just as much as anybody else. That's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoy this little quick day in life. I hope you guys got a lot of advice and tips out of this video. Please, please, please hit the like button if you like it. Hit the subscribe if you're new here or if you haven't already. Um, my course information is in the description box below as well as my broker information as well if you want to trade with my broker. I have a lot of new stuff coming out. There's also um, another beginner's class coming out. I've been coming out with a lot more beginner videos because I noticed that there's a little bit of a void uh, in our niche right now when it comes to beginner materials there's a lot of new people coming in our niche and they're trying to kind of get their feet wet and everyone is so advanced now you know the old old heads we're all kind of like you know above that we kind of forget 
what it was like when we first started so i'll be doing a lot more um beginner stuff for you guys but in the meantime i'm going to be doing a lot more day in the life videos because you guys seem to really like them uh so i'll be doing a lot more of those and um if there's a topic or something you want to talk about or you want me to talk about please drop it in the description box below i read all of them i uh, drop it in the comment section below i'm sorry i read all of them and i try to you know get the conversations going in there um and keep it pumping keep it pumping keep it funky keep it spicy and keep it fun because this is what it is all right guys so as always thank you guys for watching thank you guys for spending your time with me um as always it's your favorite female trader charlene fx and i'll catch y'all on the next one peace out